after the internet blew up yesterday freaking out on I'm J Station, he just released an apology video for the tasteless Etika title thumbnail clickbait that he did. But there's a lot that we need to discuss when it comes to this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And something that I'm extremely, extremely passionate about is mental health. So if you're into any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, and please just do me this one favor like one favor okay like please watch this video all the way through i'm going to be talking about several different subjects that impact all of us this isn't just like a hate video against i'm j station about what he did with the whole etika thing but like like we all need to discuss a few things all right so the first thing i want to talk about when it comes to i'm j station and why his apology video is, is, is missing the mark and he, he doesn't get it. I don't think he's gonna get it for a while, but the major thing is empathy, all right? Like I'm J Station in his mind, in his, in his brain, like he, he feels like he's learned and he's, he's gonna grow and everything. I'm gonna talk about that again later at this video. But anyways, like let's talk about empathy real quick, okay? Like there's something that is an issue where people don't start understanding the errors in their ways and things like that until they go through something. And what I'm J Station's talking about is like, now he's gonna start changing things on his channel and not do tasteless videos like what he did with like Mac Miller and things like that because he just had his own experience and it's got him thinking like, YouTube needs to become a better place. The only reason why I'm bringing up what just happened to me the other week is because it all relates to why this Etika story has affected me so much. It's very relevant to what is going on. This is why Etika has impacted me so much. This is why I connect with what Etika was talking about. And that's why I can relate to him. Like, we all need to start working on empathy, okay? You shouldn't have to go through something in order to be empathetic. Like, you shouldn't have to go to war to empathize with war veterans, all right? You shouldn't have to be assaulted to empathize with victims. You see what I mean? Like, we all need to start working on this. Like, we are all people and anybody's pain is all of our pain. We need to be there for one another. And that is the major issue. And I just saw Keemstar actually tweeted some things too. And like I mentioned in my video yesterday, I think both of them are gonna wake up a little bit, like this did impact them hard. But I want you to look at your own life. Like, I'm sure the passing of Etika has impacted you in a certain way if you're watching this video. And ask yourself, like, what are you gonna change? What are you gonna work on, right? If you just stumbled across this video for some reason, like, ask yourself, how can you be more empathetic and understanding of other people's situations? So one of the things about depression, I read a, I read a great book, um, I think it was called The Brain Difference. But anyways, it talks about like the strengths that people have with certain mental illnesses, like anxiety and bipolar and depression and things like that. But anyways, people with depression are actually more empathetic, right? People who have been struggling with depression for years since they were kids, they're more empathetic because they know what that pain feels like. So when they see other people in pain, they understand what they're going through. So again, like it shouldn't take someone like J Station or Keemstar to go through some experience like this in order to be empathetic. Now, real quick, I wanna to touch on the fact that I'm J Station has donated, I think like almost $5,000 to Etika's fund so far, all right? And you know, like, I think you and I can both agree, I'm J Station is a D-bag, okay? But it just, it, it just blows my mind. Like I was looking at the comments, I was like, how's this video received? Obviously, he's getting massive dislikes again, but people, like some of the top comments on there are like, um, quoting him saying like, I don't want to capitalize on, you know, Etika's death and things like that. And then they say like, oh, but he monetized this video. Like he donated 2,500, right? And then he donated 2,000 from his video yesterday. And he said he's going to donate 
the money from this new video to Etika's fund as well. So like, just like chill out just a second and just, you know, kind of recognize it. Like if you, like something I always try to live by, like don't become the thing that you hate, right? Like that is so important. Like if you are going to talk about how I'm J Station, you know, is ignorant and dumb and things like that. Like, don't do the same thing. Like, recognize that he has donated a bunch of money. Now, here's the issue with that, though. Aside from everything else, like, money isn't the answer to everything. Like, you can't just say, well, I throw money at this thing, so I care more than you. Like, like money is not a good barometer for how much we care about things, right? Like, it would be unfair to say that Bill Gates is the only person who cares about social issues because he's donated like billions of dollars, you know? And I think that's something that I'm JStation needs to learn coming out on the other side of this thing is that money is not equal to how much you care, right? So the next thing I wanna talk about is like why he did it, like why he did that whole video. Like he talks about in this new apology video, like he wanted as many clicks as possible and I get that. So that's why I titled it the same as the XXX video and the same as the Mac Miller video because I wanted everyone who hated it before to come and see this new one where I apologized about it. So I'm gonna teach you about the brain real quick, okay? And full disclaimer, I'm not a neuroscientist. And like, <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly to me that I even have to disclaim that I'm not a neuroscientist. <laughs> like if any of you turned on this video and looked at me and thought I might be a neuroscientist, like I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, we have two major parts of the brain, all right? The emotional brain and the logical brain. The emotional brain is the one that has the most power, the most control, unless we're actively working on our emotional well-being, okay? So you have your prefrontal cortex and you have the limbic system. Well, anyways, when you are in that emotional state, logic flies right out the window, okay? And you could probably relate to this. Think about how many times you did illogical things while emotional. All right. So when I saw J Station make that video and the things that he was saying, like he's clearly emotional about it and he wasn't thinking these things through. Like all of us have made mistakes when it comes to being overly emotional. So here's here's the thing. Like it bums me out how many how many hateful comments he's getting. Right. Like I get it. Like a lot of them are deserved. But like, again, like. We can all agree that I'm Jay Station is a D-bag, but people are telling him to kill himself and they hope he dies. And like, when he dies, I'm gonna do a, a Ouija board challenge and everything. And you guys, like, it, it seems like a lot of people in the community are missing missing it too, right? Like, we just lost somebody to suicide. Like, I wanna, I wanna bring it back to like, remember when Mac Miller passed away? When Mac Miller passed away, people were going off on Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson right? People were blaming them for Mac Miller's death. And after a series of events, Pete Davidson was suicidal, right? Like, I don't know if you guys remember this. It happened, I believe, in December or January, okay? Something like that. Like, Pete Davidson ended up having to go get treatment, and he struggled with suicidal ideation for many years, right? And, like, I just want you to think about that. Like, after we lost Mac Miller, we almost lost somebody else. So like, I don't wanna come off all like Jake Paul and everything like that, but I, I want people to learn from these situations and just know like, this is real. Like this is real stuff. Like people get impacted, like hate on I'm Jay Station, like all you want, but like chill out, be careful, you know? Like we need to just be mindful of how we're treating each other and everything like that. Um, but the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is I, I would hope that on the other side of this thing, you know, like I'm J Station, like learns more about mental health. Like you can't just throw money at organizations and think that that's gonna solve it. Like in my opinion, as somebody who has struggled with depression, addiction, you know, suicidal ideation, all these other things, like the part that got to me the most was just him in that emotional state 
talking about you're not depressed unless you're as depressed as Etika. And that is a bad message to be put out there. All right, so hopefully he learns more about mental health throughout this entire process. And as far as like forgiving him, like some people may never forgive him, but we all need to realize like it's gonna take time. Like we gotta see if the dude changes his ways. He swears that he's not gonna make any more tasteless videos right after somebody passes away, but we're not gonna know that. We're not gonna know that. Like the, we're, we're not gonna know probably for like six months, just following him and seeing how it's doing because people don't change overnight. So I just really hope that someone like Jay is really reflecting in this situation, taking in the feedback. But if he's going through this situation and not understanding why people are so upset and have been so upset at him for a long time, then I don't imagine him changing too much. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.